We are now a couple of weeks uh, into a war between Israel and the Hamas government of the Gaza Strip. And we have seen in New York City, as well as all over the country and all over the world, some insane uh, speech being done on college campuses at places like Times Square by public figures, by private figures and things like that. Can I ask you, how do you, how does cancel culture fit into this is good or bad? Should, uh, for instance, among the right, uh, there has been a call to uh, say anybody who is a member of an organization that signed a letter promoting Hamas or, or you know, justifying Hamas. Uh, the most famous instance of this is a letter from Harvard where 30 plus uh, That's groups, entirely Israel's fault. Yeah, happened. that, the, the, you know, they are entirely to blame. Is that cancellation if you say anybody who is uh, one of, a member of those groups should never work again? Is, I mean, is that a form of cancellation I, or I, is that I, I think legitimate? So. Is it yeah. accountability I, culture? It, accountability culture. Um, I, you know, I've been on TV talking about this and I think it is still cancel culture. I mean, just the fact that it's um, cancel culture that many people agree with doesn't make it not cancel culture. And I don't like blacklists. I, I, I like to actually deal with people individually, find out what they really think about something, you know, give the benefit of the doubt. Um, so, Cancel culture is always about now to be clear, do companies have the legal right to hire who they want? Yes. And I, and I oppose laws actually saying that they have to hire. Um, but I do want people to take a deep breath, uh, take, uh, go, uh, take some distance and say to themselves, what if we live in a country where every company was also not just a widget shop, but also a political shop and the boss's politics decided who got to keep their job? And it's not that fanciful because that's what it started to look like in 2020 and 2021, where people were getting fired for just having, you know, mildly critical BLM uh, statements. There was a, a huge amount. They were being fired for supporting BLM or being against BLM. Uh, for, for, for being even mildly critical in some cases. Like we, we saw huge numbers of cancellation. I mean, what happened on campus? was insane in 2020 this year like we've never been as busy as we were uh during that so i want people to consider what the world would look like if essentially you have a, f a first amendment but you can't have a job if you actually honestly say your political opinion i will give one caveat though to the harvard students um I think that a big part of the problem we have as a country is that we too reflexively hire elite college graduates. Uh, I think this creates serious problems. And I think you should try to find out when you're hiring from elite college campuses. It's like, okay, no, I understand you have a view that I find abhorrent. Can you work with people who disagree with you? And what, I, and what I'm hearing from a lot of employers is, is uh, not only are they not really clear if these are actually the best and brightest they're getting from these schools. Um, I was about to say any more, but they never really were. Um, but le less, less accurately than it used to be. But they're also potentially getting someone who will show up and demand that you fire your you know, mildly Republican IT guy because they can't, they can't stand his point of view. And credit where credit's due, Greg actually walks the walk. And in order to hire me to be a fellow at FIRE, he changed a rule that he didn't even realize was on the books that required people have a college degree. Yep. And I think that it's really important for people and employers to realize that there are 4 million fewer college students today than there were a decade ago. There are a lot of kids who are actually going off that trail because they think they can tread their own path or because they've seen kids graduate with degrees in feminist dance theory and t hundreds of thousands uh, of dollars in debt. There are very few feminist dance theory majors. <laughs> Let's be honest, but... Um, but I think but every the point being them, that there there are a plurality of these young yeah. people who are genuinely determined to pave their own path. And I give credit to employers like Greg, like IBM, like Tesla, like Google, who are dropping degree requirements and jobs where that's appropriate to to broaden out the, the pool of possible applicants to kids who did a, did take a different path and didn't get mired in this illiberalism.